Hey everybody, well it's another beautiful day in amazing British Columbia, Canada. I'm just loving it today. It's really mild, it's nice, sun in and out, and the clouds popping in and out. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. My banana tree has done very well this year. You can see I'll, I'll run yet from the bottom to the top of her. Uh, you can see she's come in really, really full. Uh, it's done remarkably well. The problem is now it's extremely tall. That's the roof of my house up there. It's a two-story house. So that's the roof of my house. This thing has gotten amazingly tall. I don't know how I'm going to cover it again this year. So I might have to, <laughs> I don't know, chop it right off or something. But the ones that I cut off last year just come back full force. But the good thing now, hold on. She's putting out the big beers. It went straight from the small right to the big beers. None of that intermediate stuff like last year. So I'm extremely happy with it. It's just doing really good, guys. All right. Look, I got some stuff going on here. I've, I've uh, took a few pepper cuttings. I'll, I'll just show you quickly. Show you that, and um, I also want to show you. I'm, I'm rooting some strawberries. This is the first time I've done it. Now I've gotten with uh, uh, Larry a little bit here from uh, Austin Family Gardening, and he, he's giving me some tips. I'm going to be at him a lot more. <laughs> hey, peace, bro. <laughs> hey, Larry. <laughs> anyway, so I'll show you what I've done. I, I, I've got some. I think they're rooted. I have no idea. We'll find out together. Uh, anyway, so we'll get in there in the greenhouse and do that, and I'll show you just a few peppers and stuff I was picking this morning, but uh, anyway, yeah, here we go. All right. Oh, okay, guys. Uh, as usual, I apologize for the noise. <laughs> what can I say? It's a greenhouse. Fans decided it's time to come, it's time to come on, so we're getting, it's nice now. <laughs> I'm really kind of liking it. Sorry about the noise. Anyway, guys, oh yeah, One, just kind of a footnote on the banana tree there. Pilsner. That's a straight up Pilsner. That means we've got the India Pale Ale coming next. Ah, it's a good, good year for that tree. I've been down here picking some peppers. I got a little, a little variety this year. Uh, well, okay, and a few last of the, <laughs> the cucumbers. Some of these are really good. Now, I got, <laughs> when, when I bought them, I bought a bag of mixed pepper seeds and they were supposed to be all just like these, nice, sweet and everything. Well, these things, man, they light you up. <laughs> like, I don't know what they are. It must have been the seed packers joke. <laughs> I'll slip a couple of these in the sweet pepper. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah, they're hotter than the Hobbs of Hades. These, I'll give you a lot. <laughs> these are sweet cayenne pepper, and they're off this bush. Now, this bush looks like nothing now because I've pretty well decimated it and picked off of it. And I've got another one up there. And this thing at one time will have 40 peppers hanging at a time. And it's just this beautiful popsicle looking thing like with all these hanging down. It's just gorgeous. Now I'm cloning this one. It's my favorite one. And I'll take it into my uh, indoor room this year. Uh, I could just take the whole darn plant in here. But you know, I've done that bad. I'm just going to keep the plant alive by cloning it. And uh, I've got them in the cloning box here. You can see I just got it under a little light here, and it's just started. I just started yesterday, so uh, about seven, eight to ten days max. Those things will all be having roots, and they'll be and they'll be gone. Uh, also, <clears throat> another little eggplant. You know, you can clone this stuff. Too. <laughs> it's so easy, too, guys. So anyway, all right. <clears throat> I entered a contest just a little while ago. <laughs> and I won. <laughs> Man, it was so much fun. I entered Live for Wild's contest. Live for Wild, right down here. I've been a subscriber of John's for, for a while. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, I, I, I really enjoy John. Here's the guy, man, I tell you, uh, he's really, really working hard at uh, improving his life. Uh, gosh, he's even trying to lose weight and stuff. Not that he's heavy, no, John. No, <laughs> no offense, but I just. You know, here's a guy who's, who's really trying hard. And you know what, his, his channel reflects that too, guys. Um, you know, for you guys that are into reloading and everything, man, John's the man. I mean, he's, he's really, really up on this stuff. He's doing an awesome job with his girls. He's out there, you know, going on trails and camping and everything all the time. Check out John, uh, Live for Wild. He's got a really nice channel. Anyway, this was the book that I won. It's a guide to sheltering in place. Stay home, be cool. Written by Brian Falster, also known as Zion Prepper here on, 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 on YouTube. Guys, 
this was really, really a great book. Uh, a lot of the stuff you kind of know, but I'll tell you what, a lot of this stuff got me thinking and or actually rethinking about things. So, look, it's an awesome book. John, thank you so much. Uh, that was really, really awesome. Anyway, live for wild, guys. Okay, guys. Now, oh, and I also want to thank everybody who sent me seeds. Holy smokes. You guys, I've got, guys, I've gotten so much. The generosity uh, from all of my subscribers is just absolutely overwhelming at times. And, uh, and, and I'm, people are mailing me seeds that aren't subscribers. So, wow, thank you all so much. Uh, I've got some interesting stuff to try. I, I'm gonna have to build another greenhouse, I guess. <laughs> look, <laughs> it's great. Anyway, and keep the mail coming, guys. I absolutely love the mail uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, uh, I like to talk about it here, and it also really gets me thinking. Uh, it uh, kind of fires up my creative side and gets me thinking about different ways to approach things. So awesome, guys. Please keep up the mail. I absolutely love it. Okay, so let's uh, let's get on to the strawberry thing. Now, I'm not... I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I'm going to film this. I took a couple of shots to show you. I could, you know, edit them in, but I'll, 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 I'll try to do some video of it too. But I'll, I'll try to set this up so that we can uh, see those roots for the first time together. I, I'm hoping they've got roots. It's been about, been about seven days. We'll see. All right, let's check out the strawberries. <laughs> okay, guys. I just, uh, you know, I just got these little strawberries on the side of my greenhouse here in the dirt. And uh, what I did is I just took some uh, net cups that are gonna pop right into the NFT system. If these are rooted today, we'll see. Uh, and, and I've just set them here in the sun with plastic bags on them to kind of keep them moist. And uh, you know, hopefully they got roots today. Now these are all done in cocoa. Uh, you know, the cocoa seems to root really, really well. Uh, I've got some in perlite down there and uh, we'll go check those out and then, then we'll take a close-up look. Okay, I've done the same thing down here, just uh, it's uh, just just with perlite. Uh, I, I've never really used it as a rooting medium before, so uh, we're just going to check it out. As a to I think there's like a total of seven or eight of them I've done, so we'll see which works best right now. Well, I guess we might as well see if they've rooted. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I kind of think they have it. The weather's been so nice and I've noticed a lot of growth up here. So uh, yeah, I did the little plastic bag thing and uh, let's see what we got going on in here. This is, uh... <laughs> yeah, oh, I can't pull it because it's attached. <laughs> Roots, but you know what? I'll tell you what, there we go. We're actually done with that plant, but uh, there's the roots guys. Now this is going to go. This is going to go directly out into the NFT that I put in the yard. I'm hoping the rest have roots today too. Let's check it out. But uh, I'm really happy with that. That's that's nice. Like eh, five, seven days, something rooting. So let's check out this one. Hmm. Wow, that one's. Oh, okay, that's rooted there. So some of them are still <laughs> rooted onto other plants. So I, I'm, you know, I don't want to cut the. Oh, okay. Here's one in perlite. I I thought they were all. Oh, there are two in perlite up here. Okay, I was completely... <laughs> All right, completely wrong. Let's see, do I got any major roots? This is great. All right, so uh, let's see. I hate to cut that guy off, but <laughs> since they root so well, I'll just nip that off there, and I'll stuff that right there. Ten bucks says she roots. <laughs> We'll see anyway. Okay, well, let's, that's, uh, that's another one. Uh, I was wondering how the heck to get the strawberries going, but I guess, I guess this is it. I've got roots on this one too. All right, well, unfortunately, <laughs> the one that's still traveling off this is still here, but I'm going to do the same thing. Now, you know, this soil we got here, it's just horrible. We don't till it, we don't, it's, we just leave it alone. It's pretty rock hard. Uh, but the deal with all the strawberries here is, is we've noticed when there's strawberries, there's no weeds, they take over. 
That's the plan. All right, I'm gonna grab the rest of those real quick and then we'll pop them in the NFT. There we go. Every one of those uh, strawberries that I'd put in like that, they, they all rooted beautifully. Of course, they were hooked to the mother plant still, but that's, that's kind of like an air layering technique and it's, it, it's really awesome. <clears throat> I'll show you how, how well they're rooting at. The Coco Coir, outroot the perlite, uh, I would say, you know, five to one, something like that. Uh, the perlite rooted well, but this cocoa, uh, let me see if it, yeah, check that out. Look at the way that roots, that's, you know, come on, that's really nice. So bang, uh, <laughs> they're all gone in here, and we'll see how well they do on winter. Like I said, I have no experience with these. I've never grown them uh, before. I've never grown them like this. They've been out in my yard forever, just, you know, kind of growing. Uh, and they're really nice tasting berries too. I don't know what strain or whatever, but they're great. Uh, put some pak choy over there on the other rail. <laughs> some lettuce too so it's going to be like this big family planting thing in this nft system for a bit uh at any rate i think what i'm going to try to do is get some more uh, more of these uh strawberry runners rooted and put them in the other side when the uh, pak choy and the uh, lettuce is done anyway wow the sun is killing me guys i'd say that's probably about a wrap okay yeah look here's an example see that's the perlite it rooted but a little more feeble, I'd say. Anyway, so uh, anyway, guys, that's it for the strawberry thing. This is what I've been after, uh, and this is what's happening. Uh, we'll see how it. Uh, we'll see how it does over winter. I plan on leaving it here all winter. Uh, I I could bring it back in the greenhouse, but I built that long bench in there, so uh, I'll probably just pull this cover down, tarp it, uh, and uh, heat my reservoir, and, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, all right. This is the strawberry thing. This is what I got going on right now. <laughs> right. I'll see you in the green house. Well, guys, so that's what uh, that's what I'm up to this week. Now, next week, next video, I'm going to uh, I'm going to be putting in uh, together. I said I wouldn't do this too. I'm going to be putting in a recirculating deep water culture uh, system in here. I'm going to do my very best to do a. <laughs> A real breakdown how to do it video um, yeah I, I'll do the best I can anyway that's my plans uh, I thought I'd try that because uh, I'd speaking been speaking to some other growers uh, Larry for one and uh, I want to get with another fellow media maker 2000 uh, Dale he's 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 no slouch either now I want to talk to these guys and and uh, Larry and I were I say talking typing uh, of maybe trying some uh, long distance experiments uh, using the same type of systems or even different systems but with the same plant. Anyway, uh, since I don't have a deep water culture system in here, I get a lot of mail. A lot of you guys really, really like it and you're <laughs> kind of asking me what the heck's up, why not? Okay, I will. <laughs> I'm going to put one in. The only difference is this one is not going to have a pump. This one is going to be completely air driven. It will be recirculating, but I'm going to use an airlift instead. So we're going to use one pump and do that. Next video. All right. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, listen, I hope you'll subscribe. And uh, you know, uh, this is kind of it. This is what I do. <laughs> and to everybody who does subscribe, oh, thank you guys. You know, I, I, I really love this. And you guys mail, please don't stop. I just love it. I just love it. Uh, it really gets me thinking. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's all I got for this time. Uh, I hope this fine. And above all things, above all things, guys, be good to each other. Be good to each other in all things. Uvidimasai post, jai, budte nasa vihodnishikni. Nasdravi. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>